Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're going to be testing and taking a look at six solid state drives in the $30 range. And they are Kingston, SanDisk, Silicon Power, and three unknown names Taurus, Inland, and Adlink. No idea how they're going to perform, but let's go check it out. So as we can see, the performance of these drives are quite impressive. They're very close to what the specifications were based on the manufacturer. However, the three that we tested, Taurus and the Adlink, were quite impressive. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting the performance to be as well as they were, to be honest with you, I really didn't. I mean, using the Auto uh, Disc Mark, uh, Disc Benchmark tool worked out really well. The uh, Crystal Disc Mark, I'm not sure why they're different it's going through the same controller who knows doesn't really matter but based on the price and this is my recommendation based on the price of being a through a couple of dollars here and there is it really worth the risk to go this route no name like I never heard I bought them just for this review all right they were inexpensive enough to, to give it a shot and I would probably go with either silicon power or sand disk uh, Kingston great brand like it but this is my first one so I'm not sure the longevity I've have SanDisk many of these and I have many of Silicon Power and Samsung and stuff like that but for a, a sub $30 SSD I mean this is incredible the prices have definitely come down we're talking 12 cents a gig or less in some instances this is impressive SanDisk versus Taurus which one would you pick you never heard of this however if you want to save $3, give me a thumbs up if you like this. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And be sure to hit that, to hit that bell for future notifications of new videos. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Blah!